there's no man who taking up the book in my boy. Oh, no man who Carly, Carly, Carly Russell. I'm glad your madness has come to an end. I'm so happy your madness has come to an end. Um, and your mother and your father have been horrible enablers. Just horrible. And allegedly, you, Carly, don't have the best relationship with your mom. And I'm not going to uh, judge that because a lot of girls don't. But some of the things that are going around this YouTube street show you is just straight records when it comes to your mom, allegedly. Of course, she will never admit that because... She's your biggest enabler. Whether y'all she y'all fight physically or whatever. But I tell you what, check this out. The mother of the Alabama nursing student who deceived the nation into believing she was abducted on Monday, she refused on Monday to address her daughter's lies. Talitha Robinson Russell said when contacted by the New York Times hours after her daughter admitted through an attorney that she made up the story about kidnapping. Uh, now is not a good time. Well, when is a good time? You lying. When is a good time for you to address your ignorant behavior as a mother? Now, the mother had previously told NBC Today show on July 18th that her daughter had fought for her life, claiming that she was abducted by a man who forced her into a car, y'all know it, and then an 18-wheeler truck, which sounds freaking something like something out of a damn Star Wars movie. I wish my daughter would bring me some crazy shit like that. What would I do? I'd be like, baby, let me tell you something. I'm going to have to visit you in prison because I'm not, I, I, I can't. I can't even do this with you. There were moments when she physically had to fight for her life. Yeah, probably against you. And there were moments when she had to mentally fight for her life. This is Robinson Russell now saying in the interview. I mean, this girl was missing for 49 hours. And when she reappeared at her parents' house last week in Hoover, Alabama, after sending law enforcement and concerned citizens on a wild goose chase after reporting that a toddler was walking up and down the damn highway. Um, I, you, you, what did, what did uh, Don even say? You're going to J-A-Y-A. J-A-Y-A. J-A. And if they don't put you in J-A-Y-A, Everybody in your town, everybody whose resources, because that's whose resources that it is, is the people's resources. The people should demand that they lock you up for some protracted period of time. Because your ass then got away with this uh, for quite some time, and your mom has just turned uh, a side eye or overlooked. And that's not good for anybody. You know, I mean, it, it was it was an elaborate, silly scheme. Anyway, her lawyer, Emory Anthony, revealed that his client never saw a child, which we already freaking know. And that's why, in my opinion, the people got so amped up of uh, a white baby on the side of the road? Are you kidding me? Anyway, we ask for your prayers at for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward and understanding that a mistake was made. Anthony wrote, "That's the lawyer." Carly again asks for your forgiveness. I would have really accepted this better had she stood up in front and. Um, 
and, and, and ask for forgiveness herself, not through a third person. That one, it's okay to have your lawyer standing beside you, but some stuff you got to do yourself. And that was one of them. I mean, neither Anthony nor Russell attended the news conference and no criminal charges have been filed so far. But I hope they do. Uh, because this sheer madness, the girl had been looking for bus tickets to Nashville, leaving the day she disappeared and fired off a series of unusual tweets before dialing 911. Investigators are still left picking up the pieces to find out how and why Russell would fabricate such a severe situation. She had a moment of insanity. It's, there's no other way you can describe such ludicrous behavior. Uh, now tell me who is fooling who. You're not fooling me. You're fooling you. And I guess that's what the police told you. Girl, go to jail. Do not pass go. Please allow this girl to have some type of repercussions for that act of madness. Because if you don't, we're going to see a series of copycats doing this same wicked, insane madness. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. And she she confessed. Am I going too far? I mean, she didn't really have to confess because we already knew. And then she still ain't coming from before nobody. That's not facing the music. Again, y'all weak. This is just some weak, weak stuff. And I'm not accepting it. She should have stood before the firing squad. Then I'll take you serious, at least to some degree. Girl, go sit down. I'll see you in the next video. Listen, if you like what you hear, I'm going to ask y'all nicely. Again, I know a lot of people cannot donate to the channel right now. Um, and I hope that changes in the future. I appreciate every bit of donation that we've gotten so far. And I would like for you to continue any way that you can to contribute to the growth of the channel. And if it's by just watching the, the ads that play, every little bit helps. And I appreciate it. So thank you very much. And um, I'm going to see y'all in the next video.